Well, boys and girls, it, it it's kind of it's kind of like you're probably wondering what in the world happened. Where where was the this week in indoor football last night? Uh, um, I'm gonna tell you right now. I was too tired last night to do this last night. So you know, WrestleMania happened, the Final Four happened. Yeah, I I, I was doing that last night. I was gonna do this earlier this morning, but then I fell asleep. So <laughs> now's the best time to do it. So yeah, um, this week, um, I know there was some like some AFL jersey stuff, but again, it's jerseys. It's not really relevant to the whole situation. Um, first things first, AAF. Um, Harrisburg's first game happened yesterday, forty four twenty nine. I believe the old Jersey flight announcers were on that game. And the other thing, the bigger thing, the more crazy thing was that Harrisburg used Washington, the Ballers, end zones, which is insane to me. But all right, I trust Jay Coble. I tr I trust those guys to hopefully you know get it together because they move. Um, you know, there, I think there was like two different venues in Harrisburg, but they used the smaller one, if I'm not mistaken. I know I know there's somebody that's more well versed in me. Or uh, rather, it's more well versed about the situation, you know, as far as or, or what arena was being used. But I mean, the crowd looked okay, looked okay. Yang was, you know, kind of, you know, it was kind of, it wasn't really back and forth. Harrisburg really led the entire game. So, yeah, there was that. Well, the other thing is that um, we got an article that came out. Um, I'm not sure if it's, not sure if it was yesterday or this morning or whatever. But Beaumont, they've got a field dog at Fort Park, which I'm assuming that's it. That is probably in Beaumont somewhere. And Frank Middleton is the interim head coach for the moment. So, yeah, there's that. Um, yeah, not much else to say on any fronts here, you know, from the AF right now. IFL. Let's get into that real quick because, oh, my goodness, Bay Area beat the brakes off of Jacksonville. I know San Antonio came back late, but they were getting they were getting smacked around by Northern Arizona, Tulsa. You know, I know Iowa left the back. Or rather, I know Iowa got back into the game late, but again, Tulsa was put belt to ass on Iowa. Two best games, honestly, were the defensive struggle between Green Bay and Quad City, and of course the Tucson Duke City game, which you know didn't have graphics up for a good chunk of it. Um, yeah, yeah, that Tucson Duke City game was really good. C can't complain about it too much. And of course, the Sugar Skulls get the W. I think Green Bay beating Quad City was pretty surprising, but honestly, again, you know, Jacksonville and San Antonio both being winless is probably the biggest surprises so far. Uh, man, I mean, even Connor Blanc got knocked out for a good portion of this game, I think. You know, uh, I mean, it, it's just it's just rough. You got Jacksonville, you got the Jacksonville Twitter and fans. You know, of course, there are some very, very, you know, more famous Jacksonville Sharks fans that, that are really, really, you know, peeved about, you know, the way, you know, the refs were handled or whatever. But, I mean, it, it did look like that mattered because, again, ARES beat the brakes off of Jacksonville. Like 48 24, you get doubled up like that. I don't think it's I don't think it's time to blame the refs. I think it's time to improvise, adapt, and overcome, if you know what I mean. So yeah. I felt this week was pretty okay. You know, rage from bad to okay to really, really good stuff. And so love that. Um NAL, of course, you know, Sioux City was going to be. You know, Oklahoma. Of course, why are we why are we not surprised about that? It, the score looks kind of rough. It it was close early, but of course, Sioux City pulled away. Like, why are we not surprised about that? Um, and then Carolina, you know, beat Colorado. Colorado, you know, still, you know, it, it's it's between them and Idaho for me. That's going to be at the bottom of the league. Honestly, honestly, it's like a three team race in the AAL at this point. To be completely honest with you, it's a three-team race. It's Sioux City, Omaha, and Carolina. It's that's the three team that could take the NAL crown. I'm just gonna be real with y'all. 
Um, I don't find Oklahoma very, very competitive. You know, they, they, they can compete. Uh, Colorado, you know, I've had, you know, we watched them over the past four or five weeks and they've been, they've been competitive, but at times, you know, it's like the competitiveness is just like really, really low quality competitiveness. And I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't know at this point, like, I hope looks like they could be good, but again, they don't have play the same amount of games as everybody else. They play like eight or nine, you know, whereas Carolina has like 10, uh, Omaha, Sioux City, Oklahoma, and uh, Colorado have nine. So, like, you know, it's kind of a wishy-washy thing with the whole NAL schedule and everything like that. But who cares right now about the NAL schedule because we're just we're, – we're really into the season at this point. We're into the month of April which is crazy already. We're already into the month of April. And, um, yeah, that'll basically do it for me. Um, aside from one more thing, the TAL is beginning their expansion search for 2025. One of the cities is that's included is Dallas, Texas. I don't know why, but all right. The others are in Wisconsin, Arkansas, Missouri, and Minnesota, all cities that – you know, look like they're pretty smaller cities that probably have arenas and stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, TL season again gets started in about six, seven weeks from now. So, yeah, May 25th, you know, that's about six, seven weeks from now. Cannot wait because, um, probably going to be talking to some of the Ozarks guys. You know, eventually, maybe even get some more of the Duel of Guys on here. Uh, but that's not yet because, <laughs> I mean, this past Saturday was very busy for me. And we still we still got a long, long April to go. So, for me to you, Big Boy signing out. Sorry this was so late, but it had to be because I didn't want to make a video from, like, you know, five days after the last one and everything like that. And like, I feel like more stuff, you know, because especially the Beaumont thing today that, you know, the, that article that came out, um, I think that was also a big factor again, you know, like every, everything's going, everything's going pretty good. Again, you know, the games are getting more interesting. The stakes are getting higher and cannot wait to come back to you all you know, the next couple Monday nights because tomorrow night, got to talk about South Carolina and whoever wins UConn, Purdue. And then, you know, and then next Monday night, we'll be back with more of this weekend in the football because yay, more Monday night football games. Yay. Don't you just love that? I don't. I don't. I've, I've, made, my, I've made it my point that I don't like that. But yeah. Big Boy signing out. I'll see you all tomorrow night at like 10-ish or something like that. It's going to be a late night. I already know. Take care and hope y'all enjoy WrestleMania Sunday.